In this video, I am going to demonstrate an ultrasound guided breast biopsy. A biopsy is an essential part of the recommended triple test for breast masses. This can be done three different ways. The first option shown at the top is a fine needle aspiration. An FNAC involves introduction of a needle into the mass and collecting a few cells that are smeared on a slide. Sometimes only fat cells or blood are collected which can affect accuracy of the test negatively. The option shown at the bottom is an excisional biopsy where the tumor is removed completely and then sent to the pathologist for diagnosis. However, with this approach, if the results on excision show a benign tumor like a fibroadenoma, you may have undergone unnecessary surgery. And if it shows a cancer, repeat surgery is often needed to complete the cancer operation. Hence, the middle option is the one I prefer in most cases, and this is a core needle biopsy. It is performed under ultrasound guidance to ensure that the correct area is sampled. The core biopsy removes actual pieces of the tumor without need for surgery to obtain a histological diagnosis. Surgery can then be planned only if necessary and the right operation can be performed at the first instance. In cases of breast cancer, Information on molecular details of the tumor, such as ER, PR, and HER2, can be obtained on the biopsy sample itself and help formulate a more complete treatment plan. I am going to demonstrate this case of a 43-year-old female who presented with a left breast mass noted on mammography. The same mass is localized on ultrasound and its dimensions are measured. The biopsy is done in the outpatient ultrasound procedure room. These are the supplies we use. A syringe to infiltrate local anesthetic, a spinal needle is used for more distant lesions, an 11 blade, a spring-loaded 14-gauge biopsy needle, some gauze dressing strips, and 10% buffered formalin for collection of the specimen. I use a sterile glove instead of the ultrasound probe cover and lignocaine jelly in layer of the sterile ultrasound gel. The patient is given a comfortable position with the hand raised over the head. A roll is placed under the shoulder to give a tilt as necessary. A sterile prep and drape is then performed. A point of skin entry sufficiently away from the probe is selected and the local anesthetic is infiltrated into the skin biopsy tract and around the lesion. A spinal needle is used to inject the anesthetic beyond the lesion. You can see the anesthetic being infiltrated all around the lesion so that the patient feels no pain during the biopsy. An 11 blade is used to make a small nick in the skin to allow the biopsy gun to be introduced. In the pre-fire position, the needle tip should be placed just proximal to the area to be sampled. This image is documented. The needle is then fired with the push of a button. When the needle fires, it cuts and collects a 2 cm long thin piece of tissue. This is the post-fire image that should also be documented. About 4 such tissue cores are obtained from the lesion sample. These cores are then placed in formalin. Pressure is held on the biopsy tract for 10 to 15 minutes and a small steristrid dressing is then applied. The patient can go home immediately after the biopsy. I usually advise the patient to wear a comfortable bra and resume light activities the same day. Usually, pain and discomfort is minimal and mild analgesics are sufficient for two to three days. Some swelling and bruising is expected and it will resolve over a few days. Contrary to common myths, Tumors do not grow or spread after a biopsy.